So we've just put the oh god. <laughs> just put the skirt I'm on the model. Really sweet. And it's just it's just all coming apart. So we put on the model and the tension was just too much. It's heavy. It's real. it's like heavy. Because it's double, it's double. Yeah. Sided. Caroline is one of my best mates, so we're just like trying to she's trying to help me out as much as she can, even though because she's like finished before I have. I just kind of realized that when the model sort of walks the boot covering sort of slip up. So um, I'm just, I just like we did like sort of a makeshift cat that sort of sit underneath there. It is a very creative process and everything they've come up with along the way has been so original and yeah, super exciting. I guess the vibe I'm trying to capture with um, my look is sort of like Mazda meets outdoors or Mazda sort of, you know, goes camping or like um, Mazda goes surfing. Um, I think a lot of my concepts um, come from sort of Australiana and also it becomes sort of like a lush dystopia and uh, it's sort of protection from insects and animals and I sort of influence that into my sort of designs with the beekeeping veils and the wetsuit sort of archetypes that are sort of um, high performance wear that sort of is bound together with zigzags and hand stitching. I like the way you describe it scavenging, it gives it a sort of a hardcore edge yeah. of going out through this dystopian landscape picking up the sort of the debris and then putting it together so yeah. I sort of like that and that sort of industrialness which comes through the car as well so yeah I think you picked that up really well. I guess my concept is like the contrasting of hard and soft materials. Hard materials being like the vegan leather. And then I've also tied in this kind of metal embellishment. And then the purple was just scraps that were laying around. So yeah, I really tried to like um, hone in on the idea of sustainability as well. It's quite interesting to see how you know, clearly when you're moving, that it would come in and out of play. So that dynamic component is really, really interesting. The strips on the weft actually get larger and larger as you go down which was particularly hard to get correct and get this like fluid movement and I was kind of looking at the front grate of the MX-30 and looking at how I could create exposed light from the t-shirt underneath. You've tried to think of different ways in in terms of being inspired by the car. You know, I'm looking at things, mm, yeah the light coming yeah. through, you know, sort of, I can start to visualise. Thanks so much. So we have the hard task. Yeah. It's once you get to a finalist, they're all good. There's all only this, ever yeah. one, but they're all really good. Carolina used the, you know, the most classic form of designing, and that's draping on the body. It's always great to see someone using colour, because we were so scared of colour. Right. So she sort of had that popping. I'm drawn to Alex's piece in how it imagines the future. Alex had a narrative from the very beginning, and he was really consistent to it, whereas Lily was progressively built to what she had there and that's what I love about it. It was so, it was organised in the end. You can imagine the story with Alex's piece. You can see the landscape and how the person relates and how that narrative all fits together. So for me, I think I, I find that piece is really exciting. I absolutely adored um, Alex's because of that whole journey. Like yeah. it was an incredible journey, but I'm going to choose Lily because I think hers is just as beautiful but just so different. I think though that Alex I think got the visual story through the complete ensemble. I think I'm going for Alex yeah. in my mind. But really is the construction as polished? I'm not sure from my perspective. Whereas with Lily there is incredible um, craftsmanship in how she's pulled this together. Okay this is where we need the fourth judge don't we? <laughs> That's right. Mm, tough one. Yeah. But if when you look at it as a design, the story is fine, but we do need to look at it from design as well. I was really lucky enough to be part of the process from the beginning with the team and just to watch how their ideas evolved. So it's, it's really amazing. However, we have 
had to choose a winner and we're really happy to say that the winner of the Mazda Design Award 2021 um, and which also includes in all expenses paid trip to Japan is Lily. It's a bit of a sort of a slow surprise, fashion <laughs> cringe. But you do sort of think, is it going to come together? What are they doing? And it's always that deadline. They knew they had this deadline, you know, and they all rose to the challenge. Just seeing what they've actually accomplished in the last three days has been really amazing and how quickly they've been able to kind of adapt to those materials and do things that maybe they didn't even know that they would be doing. I'm really happy with my design process, um, I guess. Also the use of colour, because I never use colour. Oh, I think it's like really good to like collaborate with people who are just uh, kind of outside your medium because I think that's when like interesting things happen. I'm so keen to go to Japan. I've always wanted to go. I hear the fashion is incredible. So I'll be doing a bit of shopping while I'm there. I'm very set in my ways when it comes to using materials. So I stick to the same things that I'm comfortable with. But after doing this, I know that I can use the same processes, the same techniques that I've been doing from day dot, pushing that materiality. And it just shows that you can make an outfit out of car materials. It's very, yeah, transferable.